what is the single best overall vacuum for the money? This is my overall pick if you can only have one vacuum. But to tell you why I picked the Canmore, let's set some ground rules. It has to have great performance. It has to work on hardwood and carpet. It has to have a HEPA filter, and it should be fairly easy to use. And it has to be affordable. In fact, I tested the Canmore Pop and Go against this pretty expensive Dyson V15 on carpet, and I think you'd be kind of surprised at what I found. But don't click off, hear me out. I'm gonna tell you why this Canmore 600 series represents the best value for your money. Now, Canmore graciously sent me this vacuum for review, but I've done all my own testing to validate everything I'm saying, and no money has traded hands. Now, if you remember back at the beginning of the video, we set some requirements for what I think is the ideal vacuum. And here's the first one. It has to have great overall performance. So we tested suction at the wand where it had about 18 kilopascals, but that is not the whole picture. At the head, it had about six kilopascals. And while suction is definitely important for performance, it's the overall combination of how the head, the suction, the motor, and everything works together that make a vacuum good or not so good. In the case of the Kenmore, everything really does work well together. Like pretty much every other corded vacuum that we've tested, the Kenmore 600 series exceeded our capacity to measure it. That means the airflow was over 100 miles an hour. Now, almost every household has a mixture of carpets and hard floors. And if you live in an apartment, you've probably got quite a bit of carpet. Now, good airflow and suction definitely matter, but you also want a vacuum with a powered brush roll. And the Kenmore has a separate motor, which means you're getting more hair, more dirt into the vacuum because it can agitate the carpets better than pretty much any other cordless vacuum. And when you're moving from hard floors to carpets, you can adjust the height of the head to get the most effectiveness. In our pickup tests, we found the Kenmore easily picked up 100% of the sand we sprinkled on hardwood. We also sprinkled 20 grams of sand and ground it into the carpet, and it also picked up 100%. But what about hair? Well, first we fed it 14 inch rave hair. On longer 14 inch rave hair, it is not the most anti-tangle. Most vacuums don't really do very well in this test, but on pet hair, it's pretty easy to get this stuff out. And then we tried it on cat and dog hair. We even dumped cereal on the carpet, which of course Saturn first ate. And then we vacuumed. It actually performed better than most vacuums because you can easily adjust the height of the head. However, I need to be totally transparent with you. It failed one test miserably. It was completely ineffective on the cat scare test. <laughs> now, if you have pets, I've got two, or you've got allergies, you absolutely want a HEPA filter. And most vacuums have one, but a lot of cheaper vacuums don't have a sealed canister. So that means the dust gets back into your room. The Kenmore canister is so well sealed that essentially no smoke escapes at all. So we use smoke to test this because the particles of the smoke that we're using are just a little bit bigger than the 0.3 microns that a HEPA filter catches. That means that this Kenmore effectively traps allergens and dust really well. And the reason for that is it has a bag. And with this bag, that means essentially none of that stuff is gonna escape back into your household. Around 66% of Americans have pets. I got a couple of very fluffy cats. And that means this pet hair tool is super handy for cleaning my kitty condos, which are absolutely covered in fur. This thing is covered in pet hair. My cats have been on this for two weeks. So yes, there's a couple of tangles, not that hard to get out, but this did a better job, in my opinion, than any of the cordless pet hair tools that I've tested so far. This thing is powerful. It's also got this clever storage area. You pop it open, you've got a crevice tool, great for couches. You've got a dusting brush tool, which is good for hard surfaces. I use it in my tables. One thing I really like about the canister design is that it has a retractable cord, hallelujah. Now at the beginning of the video, I said that there was something that really surprised me. Here is what surprised me so much. We cleaned my shag carpet with a Dyson V15. We cleaned it for several minutes. We did a number of passes. We really tried to get all the dirt out. Then we came in with the Kenmore 600 series. We did another pass and check out how much dirt is inside the bag. Whoa, it got so much that the cordless left behind. Kenmore did a way better job of getting all the pet hair out of the carpet than the Dyson did. This thing is kind of impressive when it comes to vacuuming carpets. And for stairs with this pop and go technology, you can just use your foot to pop open the rear of the canister, put this brush on, 
extend the wand, and then you are vacuuming the stairs. It's actually kind of a cool little feature. If you've got a lot of stairs, the canister is actually designed to go up the stairs with you. Kind of clever. If you're lifting up the main body with all the attachments in it, this is about 15 pounds. With all the attachments out, it's about 13.5. And if you're carrying around the whole unit with everything in it, it's around 23 pounds. Now there are a few downsides to this vacuum. And while I think uprights are great, if you've got a lot of stairs, typically you are lifting the entire vacuum and that gets a little bit clunky. But with this canister, even though it's not perfect, you're only lifting the main body when you're moving it around the house, you're dragging it around so it doesn't feel quite as heavy. And yes, you have to change the bag every few months, but that is easier than washing a filter in my opinion. And look, no vacuum is perfect, but I had a Kenmore canister for about 20 years and the only maintenance I needed to do was to replace a belt in here. It takes a little bit of work, it's a couple of screws to get it out. I actually had no other issues than just going through a number of belts. And of course, you can spend a whole lot more money on a vacuum than this, but in terms of reliability and repairability, Kenmore's have a pretty good reputation. Yes, I could go into a Miele, I could go to a Kirby. I don't think most people are ready to spend four figures on a vacuum. If you found this video helpful, there's another one right over here. Thanks for watching.